Hello again everyone, we're at the beach. We're just going to make a little bit of a walk. We've had to park a car a little bit further away and we're approaching low tide at the moment. So it should be a pretty good start for some beach worms. I actually forgot to bring rope with me. So I'm using one of my stockings the other side as a uh, rope to tie around my waist. I'll use the shorter stocking for the worms. We have about five pieces of them. I grab them from the head and just pull upwards. You know, usually um, when the wave recedes, there's a V-shape that pops up oh, yeah. and you're looking for their V-shape. Uh, shells and things look exactly the same. So you're just looking for one that stays up for about two seconds, yeah. then walk up to it, spray some juice and see if it's worm. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to catch one right now. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, they're tricky to get. You've got to be good at timing them, but... Oh, for sure. No, that's good. Oh, a beach wormer's nightmare. So I'm just having to crouch at the moment when I'm getting the worm and holding these pillies. The stocking's a bit too thick. So yeah, note for next time you guys, get a thinner stocking. Thick ones, they aren't getting the sand out as much. Or just uh, sacrifice more pilchards, which I'd rather not. So I've put my bait at the bottom side of the stocking. The top side is like really thick. It's like full of primary school kids sports short, sports sock. So I've put them at the bottom now. Another one. Nice worm. That was a nice worm. The thing I always see about the starter worm is they always, even myself, when we see the worm, we want to get our finger straight into the sand before it arches. But uh, what I've learned now, let it sort of bite on and then get your fingers in the sand. Don't just see the worm, put it in the sand. It's, it's just going to spook. There we go. Here's a nice stumpy. Oh, he's still holding on. He's still holding on. That worm did not want to let go of my bait. See, about two centimeters from the bag, away from the commit. Arch, pull, done. So yeah, a couple of nice worms, a couple of big ones now, we're getting some stumpies, not so skinny, but yeah, we'll bring it to part two, where I'm at Stockton Beach. Hey guys, we're at Stockton Beach now, part number two. And what we've got, we've got our bigger two outfits and a whiting outfit right here. I'm going to get rid of this bait jig. But uh, we, yeah, we've got some pretty decent heavy swell at the moment, as you can see in the background. And yeah, so it should be good for a dew. And I'll show you guys what bait I'm using and what rigs. So the first one I've got is just a snell hook rig. And I'm going to be putting that on my spin fisher combo. It's a 850 SSM with a 10 foot uh, Shakespeare Alpha 2 pretty crap rod but it's a good reel so should do the trick still the rig I'm using I've just got 270 hook the green bead the end of each one with a three-way swivel and this right here you might not be able to see it it's just um, 30 pound fluorocarbon it's going to be a nice dropper to a size 3 star sinker so yeah what I've got here I've just got a couple ice packs with some beach worms I caught from uh, the other day that you saw and uh, yeah pop into the co-op Get a couple of nice fresh arrowhead squid right here. Slap him right there. So how I'm rigging this big fella? It's just one through the top. Oh, by the way, I'm using a whole squid. One probably around, one around there. So I've got plenty of squid candle, plenty of hook exposure, and 
let's go cast this dog out. Yeah, we're, we're on the last two hours of the run in tide. And I've got this gutter here, which I did spot out at low tide. We've got some pretty big swell by the looks of it. It's back bank. Set the drag. Now, the second outfit I have is my Pen Battalion rod with a Procyon reel. I've really got a nice organized tackle box for once. It's got all different size hooks, circle, gang hooks, uh, jig heads, all these terminal tackle. So yeah, new tackle box, new start. Hopefully it's the start of something. Similar sort of rig. So here are our worms in the methylated spirits with some food dye. Run through the mouth, push them up the hook, pull them out there, pull above there, give them a tear. Now I'll keep them back inside the esky or the, the bucket with ice, which is basically an esky, except I got no drinks. Oh wow, look at that. No capacity. Oh. Ah! Oh crap. Just got baited at the top. How strange. Look at that F-18. Oh. So yeah, it's a little bit hard to actually um, cast out our baits and keep it at one spot. We don't have any of those grapple or breakaway sinkers. But yeah, we're just gonna be kind of checking our baits every 15 or so minutes, 20 minutes, just to see if there's anything harassing those squid out there. Looks like a fish, but... Oh, and we do have something. We've got a log. First catch today, nice uh, driftwood. It's a legal size. The gutter's right here. It's just hard to stay at one spot with the sinker I have. Oh, there's definitely a lot less current here. It's probably not a good thing because it's not really a gutter then, especially with a swell like this, you want current. Oh, what have we found here? Found a nipper claw. How good's that? I don't see anything else. No, it's actually a pretty nice soft plastic. I've got one pretty similar, it's just a white color. To another very nice piece of wood. They're not very good eating these wood, but uh, hold it by here, don't get spiked. Catch and release. I mean, it's a pretty nice day, but it's doing nothing. I've checked my baits probably a couple times, but uh, yeah, nothing even. This rod here, nothing on the worm. Only saw him catch one brim, now he's jigging. We're on the run out tight now, so kind of hoping that uh, something will show up within the next half an hour, otherwise, uh, I go home. You can clearly see there's a ton of fishermen here now. Might wrap it up there, fellas. Nothing. Conditions like this should catch you fish. It's just a bit unlucky. There are, there's nothing today in each gutter. So subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like this type of content. Uh, obviously, no fish, but try get some videos out where we can actually catch some more fish and we'll, and we'll wrap it up. So catch you guys in the next episode.